We got shot by a pirate or something? I don't know what hit us. Ahoy, salty dogs! Lens Cap here, and welcome back to Star Made. Uh, today, we are in a single-player world. I wanted to ask you guys about some things and show off what I've been working on. Um, now, some of you may be familiar with where we are. Many of you likely will not be, um, but that's okay. That's okay, and we're not actually going to work on this project today, but I did want to... Oh, they're missing blocks. Oh, that's weird. Those blocks are definitely there. Anyway, uh, we're not going to deal with that today. So this ship is unfinished. As you can see, there is space all around us. Um, I guess there's always space all around us. Anyway, anyway, this ship is unfinished. Um, but I've been working on this in a couple of live streams lately. Uh, I've got three live stream archives that are available on the channel if you want to catch up on the progress of this ship. Um, so far, it's not a lot finished. There's a, there's a little bit of stuff. Um, but I figured we'd walk around since we haven't seen this in a, uh, in a Star Made episode lately. Now, we are still doing Star Squadron. We're not on the Star Squadron server right now, uh, but, uh, but of course, we're still doing Star Squadron. And ultimately, this ship will appear on the server, so I figured it's, it's relevant enough. Um, this hallway, we spent a long time getting it to look cool. I think it looks great. Um, that's all I'm going to say about this hallway. We spent an hour making this. If you want to watch that, check out the live stream. Um, so I, uh, I had some things, though, that I wanted to ask you guys about, uh, about this ship and, uh, and kind of your thoughts um, about the process. As you can see, it's not nearly finished. Um, and that's kind of where I wanted to take our discussion today. So I've been working on this. I have about nine hours of it in live streams that we've been working on, and uh, it's a pretty big project. We're learning a lot. We're working out uh, on this together. And uh, I'm at a kind of crossroads right now. So my job has changed my schedule, um, as per happens pretty frequently, I guess, in my line of work. And uh, I no longer am able to do the consistent uh, live streams. Now, I haven't been able to do a stream in the last two weeks. So I'm not sure uh, what is going to happen with the live streaming things. Um, and that's why I want uh, your input as my subscribers and my viewers, and you guys are really the ones who are uh, most affected by this. I want to know what you think about it. So I've got two options, really. Um, I can work on this ship on my own, um, off camera, and uh, uh, maybe give updates, kind of like videos like this, where we walk around it, take a look, and uh, do progress updates and that kind of thing. Or... I can keep doing the live streams, which I personally, I really enjoy the live streams. I, uh, I think that uh, is what I want to do. With the caveat, though, that uh, they are going to be sporadic. Um, I cannot guarantee any times or lengths or anything like that. Uh, before I had been doing three-hour blocks on Friday at a specific time and stuff, uh, I can't do that anymore. It'll just be randomly when I have an opportunity and uh, maybe an hour, maybe 30 minutes, maybe five hours. Who knows? I, I can't say. Um, would you guys rather um, the live streams at random, though? Or I just kind of work on it and do like a tour-y, walk-through, show-off kind of video? Um, those are kind of our options. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, in the meantime, though, let's get on with a project for this episode today. Now, we are on... Uh, we are in a like single player world and um, we're gonna work on some creative kind of stuff oh, come on gravity let me let me in and then out there we go uh, we're gonna work on some creative building now I do a lot of the building for this um, in I, I do a lot of my star made building in actually creative mode in this in this or other single player worlds and uh, and then I just kind of load the ships into the server as uh, as they become finished and available. So today we're working on a new thing uh, that I that I found becomes very necessary in uh, uh, in my progress in the survival server on the Star Squadron server. And we need a mining ship. 
Um, the Dragoon is fine. It just doesn't cut it anymore, though. Uh, it's, it's a great ship, but I want uh, some more automation going on with my mining. So I think what we're going to work on today is designing some drones and possibly a carrier to put them in. Now, I don't know that we're going to be able to do all of those things in today's episode, but that's at least the project we're going to be working on um, is a uh, mining fleet. So I'm going to get pen and paper together, well, f metaphorical pen and paper together, and, uh, and get some blocks down and see what I can come up with a, uh, an idea for drones. All right, so pretty simple mining drone. Uh, it's got a little bit of a view, just in case you do decide to fly it for some reason. Uh, but it's just cargo and uh, uh, salvage cannons. Um, the cargo blocks are red now. They used to be white, so I don't know when that changed. That's interesting. Uh, maybe I missed that at some point. Um, these can be switched out for cargo blocks as well. I'm trying to... Uh, maximize the space utilization because um, I, I want to be able to fit as much cargo in this as I can so but I wanted to show you the inner workings uh, it's very very simple very straightforward um, a little bit of power generation I think that's gonna be enough uh, let's see if we hold this as long as we can yeah no problem at all no problem at all. In fact, we could even do with less power generation. It's such a simple drone. Uh, it doesn't really need much. But I think we're going to be fine with that. Um, so next, it's time to start adding the shell. Um, I'm going to start by putting engines on it. I'm going to mirror this engine, but I think I'm only going to make it one wide instead of two like this. Um, and, uh, and that'll be interesting. We're going to put that on the back here. And just one engine should be enough. And, uh, and then we'll put the brown armor shell, um, you know, like the rest of these ships. Uh, maybe some dark gray standard, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but that's, that's the plan anyway. And then uh, see about making something for it to dock to, because this is pretty much done uh, once we've got that. All right, engine installed. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's the same. It's, uh, it's the same. It's just one wide instead of two. Yeah, yeah I mean, it suits. It'll be good enough. Um, it doesn't need a big engine. That makes the drone significantly longer than, uh, than I expected it would be. But I think we could, we could cut down on the size of it, but at, at, at the sacrifice of more cargo blocks. And I don't think I want to do that. So we'll leave it long like this. And maybe instead of a sail, we'll have to figure out how to do sails on it. Um, but I'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, it's time to put the brown armor, quote-unquote armor, uh, shell on the outside. All right, so pretty much it. Uh, I put this hump on the back so you could have a docker on top. Um, I just did some scaffolding and left the cargo blocks exposed here. Let's fly around in astronaut mode so we can get a feel for how it looks empty. And, uh, and filled it up with thrusters. Um, we might fill it up with cargo. Uh, whoops, bump my microphone. We might fill it up with cargo to see if it still can fly under, like, under a load. Um, I don't see any reason that it would not be able to, but left the exposed systems underneath that I like, so that's cool. Um, I want to put a little bit more detail on it, but I don't honestly don't know what to do. I, like, it's just a mining drone, so I think it's fine. Um, we can maybe incorporate some more orange somehow. Um, yeah, I don't know how I would even be able to do that, though. I don't know. You know, this fleet's whole thing is the sail, so I gotta put a sail on the drone, like... It's, it's just got to happen. So we're going to figure that out. I moved the docker to the bottom. Um, I added the spine on the top. I feel like that gives it a little bit more shape. I, I like that a lot more. I actually... Let's change this too. I think... Uh, I think this would be better to be a little bit thicker like that. I think that'll, that floats a little bit better with the whole style of the ship. In fact, actually, let's try this. Let's remove both of these. And, uh, and try a full block like this. How do we like that? 
Um, yeah, that's good. Can we remove these two? And then we can make these wedges as well. Yeah. Uh, slabs, I mean. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, and... Let's remove these. <laughs> I keep messing with it. I can't quit. I can't stop messing with it. Lens cap, stop messing with it. It looks great. Stop it. What is here? Is that cargo? Okay. Okay, stop. We're doing sale now. <laughs> uh, okay, so for the sale for this, um, I moved the docker to the bottom. I think we can still make the sale work. Let's do like... Like this. Let's see how big is it going to be about this big. That looks pretty good. Now, the way I do the sails goes like this. And then there's a full block and then a wedge. Okay, and the full block and a wedge. 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 And uh, sometimes it's two full blocks, but on this one, we're going to leave it like that. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. So now we can kind of fill in, uh, the rest of this sail. And let's see, we want to do a wedge there to add a little bit of separation. And a wedge here going this way, and that'll add a little separation there too. Okay, so that's good. Now we just need to add a cap. Um, see, these all have this wedge cap on the back that adds um, an important detail. And then there's also this sail in the back. Oh, we need a, one more wedge actually here. Just like that. And in this ship, we actually can get away with doing it that way. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't want it touching, so we'll have to do that. We can do another small thing um, on the back, but not very big, like maybe maximum size this. Very, very small on the back. Like that. Maybe it doesn't even, maybe it just does this, because it's got a set... It's got to be offset a little bit. And there. How's that? Awful. It looks terrible. Let's let's do this. That's a little better. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, that doesn't quite work either. We may have to make it one block taller, so we're going to have to stick it out further by one block. So that'll do that. And then, uh, like this. Okay, and let's throw these wedges on and see if we like that any better. Um... This can go up higher by one block. I'm still not quite sure. Yeah, that looks better. That'll do. I wonder if we can uh, if we can get away with having this touch the ship. Actually, you know what? Maybe if we do. Okay, wait a minute. Let's try this. This will be a little bit crazy. Maybe we try this, and then we can come down here to touch the ship like that. Now we're going to have to adjust the height of our mast, but yeah, that could work. But we're going to have to adjust the height of our mast because we got to do this now. We've got to add a block to all of these so our mast becomes one block higher. Okay, I like this. Uh, let's quickly finish up this sail so we can take a look at it. And then the mast becomes one block higher. And boom. Okay. How do we feel about it? Uh, 
yeah, I like it. I like it. So there's our mining drone. It's a little off balance with the sail, but I mean, that's the best we're going to get for a drone. That's not too bad. Um, in fact, we probably could even do without the sail completely and it would have been fine. Uh, but the whole thing about this fleet are the sails. So I definitely don't want to forego the one defining feature uh, of the fleet. Um, I also added these intake things on the side because these have them too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, all right, so now we have to build a carrier to carry several of these. Hmm. All right, further sail revisions. I can't get it right. Okay, but I think I've got it now. Uh, I've, I think I'm happy with, uh, with where it is now. Um, I made it taller and thinner, and I think that fixed it. I think that uh, that solved the problem. That that fixed it. Um, I also got rid of the sail on the back and did this kind of structural support thing. Here, let me get rid of this. That'll make it easier to see. And uh, and I think that looks a lot better. Um, what we want to do next? Let's go ahead and hop out of build mode. We're gonna go to our sh our catalog, and we're gonna save our blueprint. We're gonna call this junk mining drone all right and let's build a fleet with this in it um, so actually what we want to do let's fly out a ways and hop out of this uh, we do have kind of like a little cockpit area kind of so um, what I'm actually gonna do is go into the catalog we're just gonna search for junk this will give us the ships we're after um, I'm gonna spawn in a a shuttle, and then let's spawn in. Uh, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll give us eight mining drones, and uh, and that's what we want to do. So we're gonna admin into this thing. So here's our shuttle. We're gonna make this the leader of our fleet. Um, let's let's turn off this because it's a, it's in the way. Um, let's go ahead and create our fleet. We're gonna call this mining fleet test, um, and I want to test how uh, good these drones are. So we're gonna go ahead and add all of these. Can I just like shift click them? I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna add them all. We're gonna order to idle in formation. That'll bring all the drones to us. Let's see how stupid they are. We all know how dumb the AI can be. Uh, that actually worked pretty well. So now the this mining drone is not of our faction. So we're gonna fix that real quick. Um, I did put faction modules in them. Um, so the faction module is here. Let's enter our faction signature. There we go. And now we can take this over to those asteroids over there and, uh, and mine them. See how well the drones do. I honestly, I don't expect them to do very well. <laughs> um, I expect it to be a little bit silly. Oh, the drones freaked out. All right, well, we'll take ourself over there and then uh, call the fleet back to us once we're a little bit closer to these asteroids. Um, it doesn't look like they're in 222, so we're going to head to 223. Yeah, here's where they are, in 223. So let's stop here. Halt all forward momentum, please. We may just end up ramming into an asteroid. Yeah, it looks like that's what's going to happen. Uh, these asteroids are huge now. Oh, it looks like that one got sheared off. That's interesting. Okay, but let's stop here and let the drones catch up. Oh, no! We got shot by a pirate or something? I don't know what hit us. What the heck? There are pirates nearby. Oh, Skylord Luke's fleet submission spawned as a pirate. That's great. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. 
Okay, uh, at, so I admin broke those pirates. Um, we took damage, but it doesn't matter. That's not going to affect our test any. So let's let those two drones dance. Come on, guys, figure out your dancing. What the heck? More pirates? No, residual missiles. We're good. We're good. Okay. Just so long as uh, the drones aren't destroyed, one of them got destroyed. Um, all right, well, that's fine. We have seven drones. <laughs> uh, so let's do uh, order, and we're going to do mine this sector. Where is it? Mine sector. And let's see how well they do. I'm going to move a little bit closer so we can kind of watch them. And I heard that they fixed the multi-beam thing. That's why I added two beams on these guys. I don't expect them to be quick. Yeah, they're definitely not going to be very quick at this. So I'll let this run for, I don't know, give it an hour and see how much they, uh, see how much they can get for us. All right, so it's been about an hour now. Let's go ahead and order these guys just to idle. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they've made a fair dent in this asteroid. I'd say if you left this going for another mm, five or seven hours, they might be able to finish this one asteroid. Ugh. Okay, we're going to need a bigger drone <laughs> than this. Uh, I Like, this is decent, but uh, I, I was hoping for a little bit more progress on this thing. I mean, they've taken some decent chunks out of it, though. Uh, like, I, I'm, I'm actually impressed with, uh, uh, with how small the drones are. But, uh, okay, but I want to find out what, um, what they actually accomplish. So... What I did, I made uh, some docking points on our shuttle here and uh, added a bunch of cargo. Uh, what I'm going to do is gather up all the drones and dock them so that uh, we can get all of their cargo in one place and, uh, and see what they actually came up with. So this is set to auto-pull. It's going to use, uh, it's going to auto-pull everything. So hopefully we'll be able to find out what's going on. Um, I'm not going to dock these on camera because this will be a little bit, uh, a little bit tedious. All right, and here's our last drone. So we're going to tab F8 into this one, and uh, I'm actually going to hop out so that we can kind of look and see how full is its cargo hold, like physically. Not very full at all. Okay, so, yeah, we definitely could stand to have more mining ability. So we need some larger uh, salvage beams. Or uh, I... Uh, Sven the Slayer did some testing like recently. Uh, I don't know if he's put anything on his channel about it, but he did some testing recently and uh, found that the maximum efficiency for mining beams uh, is 25 modules. Um, well, that's not necessarily accurate. Uh, you can get more like efficient than 25 modules, but uh, once you run into about 25 modules, you start having some crazy diminishing returns. And, uh, and so at about 25 is about uh, the most effective um, like set or amount of, um, of salvage beams, uh, salvage modules per beam. So I'm thinking uh, we upgrade this. Um, let's take a look at what we've got first. Let's see. Okay, so all that's emptied. I think I got all the other ones emptying as well. Let's just te check these uh, on the way in. Um, and then we can check what we kind of, what we ultimately ended up with. Yeah, that one's empty too. And, uh, but yeah, so we're definitely going to need some more beams. Uh, so that means we're going to need bigger drones. Okay, so that one I forgot to turn off the auto pull, and uh, but other than that, it should be fine. Let's just look and make sure. Yeah, okay, all of it disappeared. Perfect. Um, yeah, so we're gonna need bigger drones for sure than this. Like that just is not. Um, while it was a reasonable amount of uh, material for an hour, I want better. I want stronger, better, faster. Um, let's check. Let's go ahead and look in this box and see what we got. Wow, in an hour, we got hardly anything. We got one dolum. 
245,000 layer bar. I mean, that's not bad, uh, but this is more what I was interested in, these amounts. I'm very disappointed um, in our drones for that. So, uh, spending an hour, we should have well over a couple thousand um, a couple thousand units. If I were manually mining with the Dragoon for an hour, uh, we would definitely have way more resources than that. So um, I need uh, the mining fleet to be at least as potent, I guess, um, as the Dragoon is. Um, otherwise, what's the point? So um, we're going to get back to the drawing board, I guess, and redesign these drones. We're going to make them bigger. Maybe we can integrate the cargo pods then. If they're going to be that much bigger, uh, we may as well make them... Uh, work with the cargo system also um but that's gonna do it for today guys thank you so much for tuning in if you like the video don't forget to leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one stay tuned